Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com, and I want to quickly show you how to configure Apache as a reverse proxy. To configure Apache as a reverse proxy, the first thing you need is, well, you need Apache installed. I've got it installed here, and just to prove to myself that everything is working, I am going to type in httpd.exe and start up the Apache web server. Now, as soon as that starts up, I should be able to go to localhost, click enter, and I should get a command that says it works. So congratulations to me, Apache is started. Now, you also need an origin server. An origin server is the technical name they give to that backend server that the Apache reverse proxy is gonna forward request to handle the request, then forward something back to Apache, which Apache sends back to the client. I've got Tomcat installed here. You can have any number of origin servers configured. Could be Nginx, could be JBoss, could be WebSphere, could be Wildfly. Tomcat is a pretty common one to use. And I'm gonna start up Tomcat by typing in start up dot bat. That starts up Tomcat, and I can just verify that Tomcat is started by coming over here to localhost 8080. And I've also got the sample app installed. And it's this sample app that I want to be the target of the Apache reverse proxy. I want someone to say localhost slash colon 80 slash sample. So just localhost slash sample. And when they say slash sample, I want the Apache reverse proxy to forward that request to localhost 8080 slash sample. Then this page gets generated by Tomcat, sent back to the Apache reverse proxy, and then that response gets sent back to the client. But the client never directly interacts with my Tomcat server, my origin server. Now, how do you do that? Well, we're gonna do some surgery here on Apache. So stop Apache, terminate that process, and we'll start it up in just a little bit. We do need to go into that configuration file for Apache, httpd.conf. Now, uh, the first thing we need to do is add a couple of modules in here. So open up this file, I'm gonna edit it with my favorite editor, which is Notepad++. And down here, you'll see this list of all of these modules. We need to, we need Apache mod proxy, and we also need Apache mod HTTP, I think. <laughs> Let me find the mod proxy first. So you go to load module and it looks for proxy module modules, and you uncomment that line. And there it is right there, proxy module. And notice that points to modproxy.so, that shared library. Now we also need to uncomment support for HTTP and load the proxy HTTP module. Notice there's also FTP, you might need that if you're doing FTP, HTTP2. There's also some for SSL and security configurations. So if you have a problem running these exercises, uh, sometimes you just may need an extra module loaded. But those are the two modules that I need loaded, mod proxy HTTP and mod proxy. So I'm gonna click save there. Although I probably didn't need to click save because I'm not done with this file. Right at the bottom, I'm gonna add a couple of more lines of configuration here. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna add a proxy pass entry. I'm gonna say, anytime someone says slash sample, I want that forwarded to HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 slash sample. And of course you have to spell these things correctly. <laughs> I know it's persnickety like that, but that's the reality. And it's not just proxy pass, it's actually proxy pass reverse. That's actually the really important one. 
we don't want to configure a forward proxy so much as we want to configure the reverse proxy. So we've got the Apache proxy pass, and more importantly for us, the Apache proxy pass reverse. And you can see what we're saying is we're saying anytime someone comes in to the Apache server and says slash sample, we want to send them to Tomcat's Apache app that's being hosted by Apache on port 8080. Now I'm going to hammer that save button. Boom, it's saved. Now that's the only change we need to make here. Again, don't forget we also had these load module changes way up here. We're just playing around the HTTPD file right now. If you've got a bunch of virtual hosts configured, you may have to go into the virtual host file and do these configurations, but this is the easiest way to get things running. Okay, now as you can recall, the last time we went to localhost slash sample, we didn't get anything when we did that over on the Apache server. But let's start up that Apache server again. Go into that bin directory of Apache, open up uh, git bash, do the httpd.exe boom call. And in just a moment, we'll have localhost started. I'm going to come over here and just do localhost and see if it works. I don't believe it. So I'm going to click refresh a bunch of times. Now here's really the moment of truth. I want to know if slash sample forwards to Tomcat. So I'm going to hit enter here and boom, this did not work just four minutes ago. But all of a sudden now we have the Apache web server acting as a reverse proxy. We just configured an Apache reverse proxy by loading two modules, mod proxy and mod proxy HTTP and doing a little configuration at the end of this HTTPD file, namely configuring the Apache proxy pass reverse and the Apache proxy pass. So there you go. That's a simple little Apache proxy pass reverse example, Apache reverse proxy example getting us so that we've configured Apache. So if somebody comes in and provides the context root of our Tomcat application, or it could be an application that's written in Node running on Nginx, well, we can configure that forward real easy. And there you go. That's how easy it is to use the Apache web server as a reverse proxy. And there you go. That's how easy it is to set up Apache as a reverse proxy specifically for the Apache Tomcat server in this instance. Now, you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. And we've got great tutorials on Tomcat, Apache, Git, DevOps tools, Java, you name it. Now, if you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ. And please subscribe on the YouTube.